Welcome back to another video and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make ODM gear in Minecraft from Attack on Titan. So yeah, so to firstly show this off, if we just crouch, as you can see, it will shoot us forward and then it will give us this boost upwards, right? Pretty cool. And you can use this boost to like switch directions like this, which is pretty cool. And yeah, and something else that's pretty cool with this uh, creation here, it has a cooldown, so if I cancel here, I can't use it until it is ready. And you can manually cancel mid maneuver by either um, just waiting until it runs out or by uncrouching like this. They're uncrouched and it was way shorter, right? As you can see, uncrouch. But if I just let it go all the way, it goes way further. So you can, you can like uncrouch to cancel it or just not equip it anymore like this. And it's uncrouched. So you can just... Pretty cool. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. You have two swords as well. If you go to third person, it looks pretty cool as well. As you can see, it has this animation. If I go into the first uh, or like the front view, as you can see, I like put my hands up like that. Pretty cool. Which is pretty sick. And you can move around. It gives you a slight hang in the air so you can actually turn around. And it's pretty sick. And as well as that, if you hit like a surface like this, it will automatically um, you get a wall. It will automatically like shoot you up. So if I just, as you can see, as soon as I hit the surface, it will shoot me up. And don't mind the sound there. This thing here is uh, from another creation. It's like a wall walk or like a wall run. So that I don't really think about that. But yeah, as soon as you hit a wall, you get shot up to kind of give you uh, a little thing, you know. But yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial. Just uh, stay tuned to this. Uh, or <laughs> Just be patient. This is quite... Um, quite a lot of uh, command blocks I'd say or a decent amount so you have to uh, be patient and of course pause the video if you want to um, put this in your own world right so first here this basically just does it when you have two hands in your sword or when you have a sword in your hand you get two instead uh, as you can see here and then this one and by the way most of these are just like there's no takes on these so yeah there's no takes. This just removes it when you're not holding the sword. No takes. Repeat always active. This one. Um, so, uh, let me just show you guys this before I continue. So, you see all these scoreboards where, this, uh, where, I, where it has like a scoreboard like this. For example, grapple gun. Go in chat. Type out slash scoreboard. Objectives. Add. And then add that corresponding. Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Scoreboard. So as soon as you see the scoreboard, just add that in your chat. I'm not going to do all of them right here. So, uh, yeah. And this one, yeah, add this one also in the chat as well as um, repeat always active. Both of, both of these are repeat always active, 20 ticks, just so it doesn't lag. The next one here, no ticks. And, uh, but yeah, just copy this and you should be good to go. And here we have a combo tower. Remember always to have the arrows facing the same way upwards. But no takes as usual. And yeah, just copy these. Chain, unconditional. Uh, chain, unconditional. And yeah, you know that you know the thing by now. And boom. And this one, no takes. And repeat always active and just copy this. If we move on to the next one right here, zero ticks, and uh, yeah. Next one right here, zero, or one tick, one tick, and this one right here. And above here, zero ticks, and this one. Then we move on to this uh, kind of <laughs> weirdly, uh, weirdly shaped thing. I'm going to start from the, uh, behind here. And I will go forward like that and then to the right. So, bottom run right here, zero ticks, and this one right here. And remember, also add, you see the, uh, also add the scoreboard uh, named TP, as well as that. Forgot to tell you guys that. Then this one right here, zero ticks, and boom. Then we have this one right here. Same thing goes here. And this one is uh, zero ticks as well. Zero takes and copy this. Zero takes. 
copy this. This just basically just makes it so you don't you don't look around whilst you're using it. And the reason why I do this is so it doesn't kind of like look buggy and all that. And then we have this one right here. Just copy this. Then uh, chain unconditional uh, going uh, through that. Copy this. Uh, also add the scoreboard name fly as you can see here. And uh, yeah, that that's uh, all that done. Next one right here. Uh, no ticks and just copy this. Next one right here, copy this. And we have this one, same thing goes here, no ticks. And uh, then we have this one, no ticks, and just copy this. And then this one, this is going to be quite a, what do you call it, repeating. But yeah, so before I move on to these right here, I'm just going to show you guys real quick because I did forget to show you this. If you want color on your things, as you can see here, you put these S's with a corresponding letter or number, and then this L is just make it uh, thick, like a thick uh, text. Same goes here as well. So just copy this if you wanted the color and everything, and want the same design. But anyways, let's continue on with these one right here. So we have this one, zero ticks, and uh, yeah. And I don't know if you probably already already done this, but. Of course, add the scoreboard named fly. Zero takes. Same thing goes here. This is, this is for the levitation. And here, this removes the levitation. And we have this right here. This gives you slow falling. And this just resets the scoreboard. Then here, we have a zero takes. And this just kills the, the leash, uh, leash knots, which is behind you. Then right here, zero takes. This summons the leash knots. Zero takes here as well. More, uh, more that gets summoned. And here we have um, same thing. Uh, zero takes, I believe. Yeah, zero takes, and same thing goes here. Then we have here zero takes, and this. This is just, uh, yeah. <laughs> then we have this. This just uh, adds a scoreboard to the leash knots in case they don't get killed. Oh yeah. Add the scoreboard name to die as well. Yeah, I forgot to, uh, to say that. And uh, yeah, this one is yeah. This is basically it for the uh, for the tutorial. And always remember for this one right here. You see the two dots. This one is quite important, or it's not really important, but it's smart to have because this basically means twenty, the score of twenty and above. So in case uh, somehow the leash knots kind of, kind of like get above the scoreboard of 20 and doesn't get killed, it will still kill them anyways, because uh, I have 20 and above. So yeah. But that is uh, quite simply the um, the whole tutorial. Quite simple. This is multiplayer friendly as always. Everything I make, all my videos, all my tutorials are always multiplayer friendly, because I kind of have an obsession with making stuff uh, multiplayer friendly and all that. But uh, yeah, this is uh, basically it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.